Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be modeling one of my favorite gas stations ever, and it's this cool gas station design in Slovakia by Atelier SAD. And if you want to learn more about this project, I left a link in the description of this video. And it's quite a cool design. It has these round columns with drop caps that kind of extend into a kind of a three part circular. Slab on top, roof slab basically. And in this tutorial, I thought I could show you how to create these cool columns, how to create drainage for these columns, or how to solve drainage for this type of a roof. And then I'm going to show you how to create this cool circular light design that goes around the gas station. And I'm going to be adding some families, and the links to those families are in the description of this video as well. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to start a architectural template. And first I'm just going to set the units. So I'm going to set them to meters for this project. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to go to South Elevation and here we're going to set our levels. So level two, I'm going to leave it at four meters because our, our little house that we have on our gas station will be at two meters, but then I'm going to create a new level. Double L is the shortcut for level, and I'm going to offset it two meters. So let's go offset two meters. So this will be the height of the actual, the roof of our gas station. And we can drop this maybe at 3.5, perhaps that's better, yeah. Okay, so now let's start modeling. So the first thing we need is our column. So I'm going to go here into level one, and now I'm going to go here just as a component, open the drop menu and go model in place. Now, because this is a structural column, I'm going to classify it as a structural column family, and let's just leave it at structural column and hit okay. And now we have this. So now first we need to create a reference plane on which our column will be hosted and our column will be modeled as a revolve. So just create a reference plane like this on the center and let's just name it one just so we can select it later on. And now I'm going to go into South Elevation like this, go create and choose revolve. Now we're asked to pick a work plane, so I'm just going to pick it by name, and as you remember, our reference plane is named number one. Hit OK, and now we can start modeling. So first I'm just going to draw an axis line over here, just going from the top to the bottom. And once we have this, now we can create our boundary lines. So the first boundary, of course, will go over the axis line, and then for this one, I'm going to make it kind of a seven meter radius seven meter radius column or maybe even six meters, I don't know, maybe it's too much. Okay, and now I'm going to create here the thickness of the column and let's just, for this, let's make it 15, so 0.15. And now let's create a spline, so I'm just going to go here to spline, pick this point, pick one point here, one point here, and finish it off over here. Then I'm going to go into modify, select the spline, and kind of connect it over here and drag this all the way up. So it looks kind of like this. I think this looks characteristic. And then I'm just going to close this up over here. And now if I go into finish, we get our column. Okay, so once this is finished, you just go finish model and you're back into a project. You open this up and this is what you get. Now, I forgot to add the material, so I'm going to select it, go here to edit in place, select it, and let's just add the material. So I'm just going to choose some concrete material and let's use this one concrete sand. Go OK. Now we have the material, go finish model and here we are. Now I'm going to go back into level three perhaps and now we can't really see our column. So I'm just going to type in VR for view range and change this view depth to unlimited, go apply and now we can select it and move it around. So I'm just going to copy it over here once like this, and then let's copy it again, just type in CO for copy, place it over here, and then just by using the arrow keys, I'm going to kind of nudge it in place to make it look like whatever I want. And now let's create a floor slab or a roof slab, concrete slab that's going to go above. So I'm just going to go here to architecture, roof, open up the drop menu, go roof by footprint, and then I'm just going to use pick lines, 
and I'm going to pick these lines over here, maybe this one here, here, and here. And now let's start trimming. So you just go TR for trim and extend, you trim this in place, you trim this, and you trim these two. Okay, now you select everything, and here for define the slope, you uncheck this, because this will be a flat roof. And then you can create kind of a fillet moment over here. And as I can see here, I don't know, around 5 meters it looks alright, so I'm just going to set the radius at 5 meters and leave it at that. Do the same thing here and here as well. Okay, this roof looks great now, so I'm just going to select these lines and undefine slope because we don't need it. And you just go finish, you go into 3D, and this is what you get. It looks real amazing. Now I'm going to select this roof and maybe change it. I think 400 millimeters is too much, so I'm going to change this to 0.3 or basically make it 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters and I'm going to change it to the same material as we have for our columns. Okay, so once this is finished we need to add some drainage here, so because we want this to be functional and just perfect, so how do you do that? You select your roof slab and you go here to modify sub elements and you have this add point, so we can actually, as you can see here in this little explanation, we can add the point of drainage. So I'm just going to go to level 3, go here add point, and I'm going to add a point in the center of each of these, and then you can select those, just go modify sub elements, you select these and you change the height, so I'm just going to change it to minus 2, or sorry, minus 0.2, and then you have your drainage elements, so minus 0.2 here, and minus 0.2. And here, because we don't want this triangle to be a flat surface, you just here go here and add split line, and you can add a line like so, and now you kind of split everything apart. And if we go into 3D, go into modify, finish it up, you can probably see this is kind of going down. Okay, I just forgot to change these elements, if I go modify sub elements, this should be at minus 2, okay, I think this is, yeah, this is left at 0, so let's just change this at minus 2. Okay, yeah, this looks perfect. Okay, so we have our drainage kind of finished, and if I go here into realistic, it looks like this, it's all made out of concrete. Okay, so now let's add that light strip that goes all the way around, like a ring, it's quite cool. So how do you do that? Because this is characterized as a roof, we can go into architecture, open up roof, and here we have roof fascia. So we can classify it as roof fascia and create it just as in profile it's going to be running all the way around. So you need to create a new profile family, so just open up this start button, go to new family, and here let's just change this to details, yeah that looks better, and now let's find a profile family, so we have here metric profile, and let's use the default profile, and you get something that looks like this. Now I'm just going to be using lines, and let's create a circle here, yeah point 0.3 is okay, and let's split it in half, use the split tool to split this circle, and trim and extend to trim it in place. Now, this will kind of attach it to the top of our roof, but because we want it to be kind of in the middle of that slab, you kind of need to move it down. So let's just use the move tool, or MV is the shortcut. So let's, and let's just attach it to this line. Okay, it doesn't want to do it for some reason, so let's just bring it real close. Okay, so once this is finished, you can load it into project, and now let's go into 3D and let's create our light line. So just go roof fascia and you select these lines and you create some fascia. Now as you can see it's not the one that we created but don't worry we're going to add it later on. So just make sure to go all the way around. Yeah that looks good. Add it here, add it there. Okay I think we have a full circle. Just go finish then you select your roof fascia, you go into edit type, and here you can change the profile. And let's just change it to this family one, and for the material, this is the important part, 
you need to find this glowing material. So just go here to AEC materials, go to glass and you have this glass white high luminance and you open it up and you can actually go to appearance and open this up wait for a second till it updates but you can actually change the color so I don't know we can add a tint perhaps maybe a red tint kinda like that let's see what that looks like yeah that's kinda cool so just go apply OK apply OK and as you can see here we have our profile now as you can see it's kinda up so you can go into the family and edit it to bring it down a bit but you don't really have to do that okay so let's continue on so I'm just going to go back into level 1 and now let's add kind of the floor slab that's on the ground so I'm just going to go here to floor and let's create a gas station like this over here perhaps kinda like that this will be the entry for cars let's make this at 45 degrees same thing here and let's just leave an offset here of, of maybe one meter for kind of so people can walk there and let's extend it here to have some room for our little house let's connect this and let's just cap these off we're not going to be modeling anything beyond these lines and now if you go into 3d this is what we have so that here will be our little house and here we need to add our pumps for our station in front of these columns so how do you do that well you just go into the des description of this video and you download the families and I have them over here on desktop so here's the gas pump so I'm just going to load it directly into Revit and then I'm going to go into level 1 go into component and let's place one over here now I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees kind of like that so the cars can enter a bit easier then I'm going to hit CO for copy place one over here yeah that looks fine so the cars can enter here and then easily move out and now we need to modify this floor we have here so I'm just going to create kind of a rectangle kind of like this and then end it with a couple of arcs so do something that looks like this delete these two lines and then rotate it by 45 degrees and then you just move it in place over here and you copy it to the other column as well and now let's go into 3d and let's model our little house over here so I'm just going to go here and create a rectangle kinda like that go into 3D okay it's too high so let's go into level 2 and create our roof as a floor so you just finish it like this go into 3D and let's just connect these roofs and as you can see here I've added a couple of more elements I've finished this here house added this curtain wall added some si signs here some families some vending machines some gas canisters I guess that's something that belongs at the gas station some lights over here but yeah that's that's pretty much it and here if we go into 3d views this is what it looks like so I thought I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a lot thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day